Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Magic Man. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Machine Kabor! Kabor! You ready to fight? Ready. Well, we are back in the tri-state area tonight. Tate Line, Newark, New Jersey, inside the Prudential Center. The Devils are not here. The UFC athletes are here and hoping for some more UFC history inside these walls tonight, Chip. From the 76ers to the Devils, you understand. The fans in this area know sport. So you better be ready to give them a show tonight or they're going to beat you out of the building. Nice leg kick there by Tabora. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Ooh, big knee. Oh, heavy kick to the body. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch each other. They're trying to put each other out with every shot. John, with every shot, these guys are trying to end the fight. What a start. Oh, nice combination. Good right here. Big coming to right here. Oh, that's big. He's giving him so many different things right now. Oh! So more output, at least in the early going. Well, back to the well with the hook shot, and it lands again. Nicely done there by Tabora. Big body keep land. Able to land once again there. Oh, nice technique on the side kick. You don't learn that overnight. Oh, he got him again. Feels like the beginning of the end. What a fight. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, huge left. Under three minutes now to go in the round. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Block that kick to the body. Alright, he closes the distance, gets the single solid tie. Alright, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Alright, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually go out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out of space, find places to rest. Well, now he's attacking on trying. Oh, now it's getting tight. The arm triangle is getting very close. What he's got to do now is get to the opposite side of the body. He's got to get his body on the other side of the lock and get the finish. Oh, he's he's the oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Side control. Marcin Tabor is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Lands the ground and pound strike. Oh, big elbow. Keep those hands high. Nice transition. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Vulcan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard. But if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, Tabor is trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, he's got that submission tight now. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Round and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be playing. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. 
Well, plenty of time here to go in round one. He has really gotten off to a good start tonight. He and his corner prioritized an Oh! Oh, huge kick to the leg. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Elbow there, Lance. Oh my goodness, what a right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Huh. Second round, straight ahead. Stop. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. You see there's a cut above his eye sustained in that round. And now the cut man comes in. He'll have 60 seconds to try to close it up and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just crawling like crazy in that previous. They both came with an idea that they were collecting 50000 extra dollars. And right now, I am certain that they're both see that chest. Trying to establish that jab once again. Blocks the shot there. Ooh. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body. Start, start that up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one dimensional. Not heading. Smells blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. Gets back to his feet. Oh, big left. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He had to find one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now. Oh, a nasty elbow there. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Nicely done. Look at him, he's setting up a choke now. Look at that, he's setting it up. Oh, got a protection. That guillotine choke is locked in. Oh, hang on a second, he escaped. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock. Create some space. Go to your back. Give up the mount, but live to fight another day. All right, he's got the feet on the hips now, DC, in a pretty good position to get out, I would think, if he so chooses. Absolutely. This is the ideal position for escaping. Now, you're not going to get a submission off or anything like that, but you having your feet on your opponent's hips, it just allows you to build a, a, a push. You just push right. with your feet. You elevate your opponent's hips away from you, and then you just get a jiu-jitsu escape. Push your hands back, hit lights up, back to your feet. Now we're back to fight. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh, he's still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. Fight oh, up. Fight up. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Tabor gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. 
you know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now, he's got to do something to try to limit the damage. Otherwise, it's going to get real bad. Oh, high-level stuff here with the ground and pound by Tabor. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace and uptaking the aggression and the output and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Tabor is I now closing up. on the right hand. Kick right up that right elbow. Oh, big diving punch to the head. Now he's at good body position, yup. Attack and arm guard. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Well, he's on his back now, going for the rear naked choke. We'll see if he can get under the chip. Oh, he got out! Work, work, work. Lands a big elbow there. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Tabor. Ten minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let's check out some of the action DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Right. 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 And that one certainly found the target. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, most fighters... Oh! Beautiful combination to get the knockdown. Oh, he's opening it up on him now. Big elbow there, Lance. Just missed with the left there. Oh, beautiful technique for him there on that sidekick. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. All right, now we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 43 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Magic Man. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to 